Hello everyone, it's Varun here. In this video, we are going to talk about uh, the WordPress default option, which are coming inside the customizer as a WordPress Novo options. The first uh, options what we have here is the general BP setting. Inside the general BP setting, you have a use the round style member and the group avatar. At present, uh, it is enabled, so that's why all the avatar what we are getting here are displaying as a round. And if you are going to uncheck it, they will be displayed as a square one, like this. So if you want to enable these options, you can go from the PP Novo settings. And uh, the next is the container width. It is about the body press container width. It is more effective on the profile section. We can check that later on again. For the group um, front page and the map. These one, most of the time, no one is using these options so when uh, we are on the single profile page enable the default front page for the member profile and uh, display the biographical info from the member wordpress profile so it's something like that uh, you have some details in your bio from the back end uh, let me go and include some details there just including some content for the demonstration point of view uh, profile so if you have included any bio from the back end and let me include a couple of links there I think that should be enough update profile okay I've just included my first name last name and uh, bio information so if I'm going back and navigating back to the profile again member front page so it will display uh, the bio information what you have included inside the back end it will be display like this one most of the time no one is using because uh, this bio section you cannot edit from the front end yeah, inside the WordPress latest version, we have a functionality to include a profile field, uh, WordPress profile field, and then the you can edit from the front end. But that profile field is also going to be display on the profile section. That's why it's a just like a repeated section, and most of the time, no one is using it. It's your call how you want to plan for it. Next is the group front page. In the same way enable custom front page for the group enable boxes for the group home page when it will be enabled those will be displayed uh, but even same applies for the group one no one is using it like i have rarely seen not any single site which is using these features okay the next one is the group navigation by default uh, we have the group navigation as a vertical layout and if you want to enable the horizontal layout, it will display like this one in the tab view. And um, if you want to reorder these tabs, suppose that uh, I want to display activity first inside the group. So now you can see that I have changed the order of this one. The activity is displaying as a second one. Uh, navigation again, I'm going to the group navigation and going to the group. single group so when you are navigating on the single group the first tab is going to be displayed as a member and the second tab is going to be displayed as a home so you can also reorder these tab from this customizer option publish and same thing apply for the member profile so in the member profile we have a single member profile we have a vertical navigation like this one and if you want to enable the horizontal navigation you just have to uncheck this box and uh, then it will display like this and if you want to reorder these options suppose that notification need to be displayed at last then just save it publish it and then it will reorder the uh, the tabs what we have inside the WordPress. so these are the default options what you are getting from the WordPress itself next is the loop layout so navigating back to the directory actually loop layout is uh, basically for two things first is the member and the group listing 
So by default, we have members in the two column, if you uh, three column, if you want to display in the two column, you can just use this option. And you can also display in one column, it look like this one. And um, we also have a member friends loop. So when you are someone is going to their any profile, they also have a friend tab, this one. And it also lists all the member details. And if you want to display in the two column, uh, you have to choose these values. It will going to display like this. Same applies for the groups. So the group directory by default is displaying to three column. If you want to make two column, one column, or four column, you can pick those options. And inside the groups, so there are members, and they are all those members are going to be displayed on the members tab. And this looping can also be controlled from here into two column, like this. So. Hopefully this will explain uh, like what are the options you are getting from the BuddyPress itself inside the customizer setting. The next one is the use column navigation for the member directory. Next time going to the member directory. This one like a tab is going to be displayed like this. Most of the time no one is using it. So by default uh, this is the default layout uh, which is getting used by lots of client and if they want to customize it they can override uh, this template inside the child theme and polish it as per their requirement uh, that's all it will cover all the features what you are getting inside the customizer for the buddy press if you have any questions contact us thank you